would you advise people to get emotions out? Because it sounds so simple, obviously, mm, but yeah. people just trap that stuff day in, day out. Yeah. So um, this is a mindfulness practice. So I guess you can start with some simple mindfulness. You know, get the Headspace app, get the Calm app, get the Buddhify app. Uh, there's also the Waking Up app. Um, and uh, all these things have their merit. So you start off by being mindful because you need to be mindful as the first step to notice what emotion I'm having or even to notice that I am having one. Uh, I definitely wouldn't have had any awareness that I was having any years ago, none at all. Um, so once you become aware that you're having some, okay, so I think it's best for me, it's, it works best to go off on my own somewhere and um, just sit and perhaps express name the emotion first of all is it anger is it frustration is it sadness um, just a name if if you can find one sometimes you've no idea in which case don't worry about it don't bother even naming it because more important than that is then to go into the body <laughs> and you can if you want you can name what you're feeling in your body you know my my shoulders are tight or my guts are churning or there's a heat in my neck um, but even more important than that, again, is just to feel it and turn the analysis off, turn the words off uh, and just tune into the body. Allow the uh, feeling to be there. Uh, understand that it's sort of a message from your past. Um, acknowledge it, welcome it in even. Um, and as you do so, uh, you can integrate it into your experience and that will have a twofold benefit. Number one, it will nearly always make you feel better at the time uh, or a few minutes after. Uh, but also it just takes a little bit off your accumulated baggage so that the next time something comes along, you get a little less reaction. And yeah. as, as the years go by, less and less and less. Yeah. Because it's like you've got this big sack of shit on your shoulder that you've been carrying around all the time and you're gradually emptying it out and yeah yeah you can walk a bit taller and a bit lighter because yeah. you're not carrying such a load anymore yeah. that makes so much sense it mm. sounds so simple coming from you but you know when you go out into yeah. the world and live your normal yeah. life it feels so much harder than that so there's a plug for <laughs> the presence process by michael brown or i'll have a look at some michael brown on youtube um uh I've done the presence process probably five or six times. It's just a book. Doing the process is just a book with a twice daily uh, meditation. And uh, I'm doing it again at the moment, actually. Awesome. And um, it worked for me. Other people may find other uh, ways uh, forward. Any, um, uh, some people like to use tapping, you know, uh, EFT. Yeah, I remember mum doing that. Or something. Yeah, I did it for a while, but um, I prefer the process that I use now for me uh, some people get great results both individually for themselves and for uh, their clients and patients uh, with tapping and I, great it's a great tool 